Ever hear of a company called Holographic Audio? Eh, probably not. And if that's the case, it's perfectly okay because most of us never have either. And the reason is really, really simple. This is a small company that's based out of a small town in Sweden. And for the 10 or so years that they've been in business, they've barely put money towards advertising and they've only had a little bit of representation in major markets like the United States. All the same, guys, I'm really excited to talk about this company because I think they make a lot of products that you all would really, really enjoy. So on that note, it's my pleasure to share with you all my review of the Holographic Audio preamp and amp combination. All right, guys, and here they are. So to our right, we're going to have a simple line stage preamplifier with five inputs. And to our left, we're going to have a Class AB solid state amplifier that will output roughly 50 watts into 8 ohms. Now both of these components retail for roughly a thousand US dollars and they're pretty compact pieces. In fact, to illustrate this point, let me take the CD, sit it next to the gear, and as you can tell, it pretty much towers over both of these components. Now in a way, I think this is really, really cool because what it means is that these are lifestyle sized products. The kind of gear that you can tuck away, they're not going to draw too much attention to themselves, but it's still going to deliver great sound. But before we talk about the sound, let's take a closer look at the gear under review. Alright guys, so let's kick things off by looking at the Pre-25 preamplifier. Now as mentioned before, this is a simple line stage design that carries an MSRP of roughly a thousand US dollars. And what do you get for the money? Well, you actually get a component that's incredibly well made. The chassis features all metal construction and the knobs are both unique looking and pretty well made. And in my opinion, when they're placed next to each other, don't they kind of remind you guys of something? Um, <laughs> maybe I'm just being way too mature here. So moving on, let's look at the back. And on the back, you can see that this piece is as simple as simple gets. We have five analog inputs, we have a main out, we have a recording out, and we have a hookup for an external wall wart power supply. Uh, wait, did I just say a wall wart power supply? All right, so here's the thing, guys. Holographic Audio believes that this preamp only needs enough current to get the job done. Not a more, not a less. And I've come to find that this matter of fact approach to engineering really exemplifies what Holographic Audio is all about. So with that said, let's take a look at the Beastly Amplifier. All right, so even though the amplifier is actually pretty compact, I call it beastly because it is heavy as hell. <laughs> Anyways, so this is going to be the Amp 17. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a compact Class AB amplifier that will output roughly 50 watts into 8 ohms. And just like the preamplifier, it features great construction with all metal around the chassis. And it's a pretty straightforward piece. In fact, let's turn it around here and... Uh, it really is kind of heavy, guys. <laughs> On the back, we can see high quality speaker terminals. We can see high quality RCA inputs. We can see the IEC input 40 power cord and an on and off switch. By and large, this is a very straightforward piece. And now that we've taken a look at the gear under review, let's talk about how it sounds. And this is where I think holographic audio really shines. I mean, while there's no shortage of excellent sounding $2,000 components out there, I noticed that very few manufacturers offer gear at this level that's truly neutral or transparent sounding. Now, what do I mean by neutral? I mean the ability of the component to transmit the signal from point A to point B with as little coloration as possible. And really and truly, that's the whole holographic audio credo. They believe that a well-engineered component should be able to pass the signal along without adding its own coloration. And by and large, I really think the company did a great job in realizing this philosophy with these two little components. Now, <laughs> the funny thing, guys, is I normally don't care for the tell it like it is approach. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the notion of transparency. It's just I'm one of those listeners who prefers a slightly more organic, slightly warmer sounding presentation. And that's because in my experience, live music has meat on the bone. And that's something that a lot of Tell It Like It Is gear just completely misses out on in my experience. And the cool thing about the holographic audio stuff, though, is that it doesn't sound thin or lifeless. In fact, by contrast, the combination has a very full, fleshed out sound that nonetheless manages to stay pretty true to the source material. And I think that's something that holographic audio should be really, really proud of. And at the end of the day, guys, that's what I appreciate so much about the holographic audio gear, is the fact that in my 12 years as an audiophile, I usually don't get along with tell it like it is equipment because they usually sound so brittle or because you have to be so careful with equipment matching. And with this gear, I've come to find that's not the case. I've thrown all different kinds of music at it. I've paired it with a number of different loudspeakers and the results I get are just consistent. Not only are they consistent, but they're really, really positive. Which brings me to my closing thoughts. At the end of the day, guys, the only problem with holographic audio is distribution. 
The bottom line is there are not too many places in the world that sells this gear, which means if you want to audition it first, <laughs> good luck. You're really going to have no other option than to actually buy this stuff from Holographic Audio itself and then hope that it works out. And even with a trial period, it's something of a risk. But with that being said, if you're looking for this kind of performance at this price point, guys, I honestly have no idea what competes at this level. So for those of you who are looking for this kind of sound, this kind of performance that won't completely break the bank, I think this is a risk that's worth taking. So with that said, Holographic Audio, you guys did a great job. Thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, peace.